KX Sports with Joey Lamar. Tonight, we begin with the hottest ticket in town. Everyone was 30 miles west of the capital city in New Salem for the Region 5 Volleyball Championship. Look at this crowd in New Salem. We start in the first set with Shiloh up 12 to 10. And the set goes to Grayson Wanzek, and she powers that home. Flasher would call a timeout. Later, Flasher is down 20 to 8. And on the attack, Flasher's timber bolt comes up with the block. She was terrific in the first set. That would force Shiloh to call a timeout. But then, Shiloh will win three of the next four points, and on set point, it's Malia Reynolds coming through with the slam. Shiloh takes the first set. What a match that was tonight. But Flasher wins the next three sets to take the title. And in Region 7, a little bit of an upset as the number two seed, Dickinson Train, defeats Hedegar Scranton 3-1. to one. And in Class A West Volleyball, here, Minot is loses to Century 3 nothing, and Mandan, who lost the first set to... St. Mary's wins the next three to win three to two. And in the bottom half of the bracket, Jamestown, they defeat Dickinson 3-2. And Legacy takes the first set from Bismarck, but loses the next three to fall three to one. In high school football, the Century Patriots are one win away from completing a truly remarkable season. A win on Friday against West Fargo Cheyenne in the Class AAA State Championship would give the Patriots an undefeated season, their first in school history. The win will also mean Century went wire to wire as the number one team in the state. So there's a lot of pressure on the line for the Patriots. Really just focused, and I got to take it one game at a time. But, yeah, we've just really been focused these last couple weeks. And we know that you know, if we want to win it, we got to stay focused, and we got to be able to try to meet our goal at the end of the year, and that's to win a state title. That game will kick off around 6.40 p.m. on Friday. And girls swimming and diving, Century is the clear favorite to win their fifth straight state title. Century has won five of their six meets, and they also went undefeated in duels. The team's only blemish came in Jamestown at the Marnie Shirley Invite. That's where they finished second. But even more remarkable is that headed into state, Century may finally be healthy. Two of their top swimmers have been hurt this season, but Century is not making excuses. That we need to buckle down. This is our time. Um, we really got to work for what we want this year, and it's not going to be given to us. And we just got to show it, prove that we're supposed to be here. Diving prelims start on Friday at 12.30 p.m. The Mandan Braves are also going to the state tournament. This year, Mandan does not have a large team, but they do have some standout swimmers. Mason Sheldon will come in with the top time in the 100-yard breaststroke. She also has the top four time in the 200 individual medley. She says this senior season is one she could only dream of and that the team is working hard ahead of state. So we wear like shirts and shorts in the water just to make you slow down a little bit. But once you take off all of your drag, you feel really fast. And we're working on like starts and turns, just working on the small details at this point. The swimming preliminary start Friday at 3.30 p.m. In women's college basketball, the University of Mary hosted Dickinson State. The University of Mary women are off to a 3-3 three three start. U. Mary was leading by a very comfortable margin at the start of the second half. And early in the second half, U. Mary was swinging the ball on the baseline. And the three-pointer is no good, but Cassie Askvig is there for the putback. And she was filed. She would make the free throw. Now the score is 45-27 U. Mary. And Crowell Gillette is left all alone for three. And that is good. Dickinson State did have some good moments here off the baseline screen. Shaylee Sheridan knocks down the three, but this game was all Marauders. They win this one 78 to 52. So we got state football tomorrow, had an exciting volleyball championship. This is the best time of the year for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not many sports you didn't cover there. Thanks, Joey. Coming up next on KX News, nothing, nothing